Hi scrapbooking friends, this is Trisha at Club Scrap with yet another tutorial on how to make eight beautiful pages out of a Club Scrap page kit. This is October's Expeditions collection. It's beautiful, it's masculine, it's neutral. It's going to be awesome for all of your travel adventures. Um, so with the kit here, um, you're going to have your travel stickers. Those are fun. You get three gorgeous styles of ribbon, including this fun, super soft houndstooth pattern. Um, three really lovely silver charms. They're nice and one-dimensional, yet provide a lot of interest for your pages. We've got some fun plans for those. And then we have two really nice, um, beautiful, vintage, travel-y, translucent uh, envelopes and our a pack of photo mats. Should we go ahead and get those photo mats filed away? I'm using the accordion pocket file. I've got four pockets and then one pocket will be for each double page spread um, that we'll be creating. So let's find one black photo mat and put that in the pocket labeled one and two. And then you need two green photo mats also pocket one and two. And then find two black photo mats for pocket three and four. Let's see, I'm just looking at the third ingredient on my instructions. Then we need three blue photo mats in pocket five and six. One craft photo mat in five and six. And then two craft and one green, that should be all you have left, go in pocket seven and eight. Next, let's put the paper in the order that we'll be using it. So I already have mine put in order. If I'm going too fast, just pause as needed. So take your map print. It's just an all over map print. Let's put that face down in front of you. We'll build this from the top down and then look for one craft plane. And then one of the suitcase prints. This is so cool because it has the luggage and the uh, map on it. Can, the luggage print, we'll put it face down. Find a black plane. I really love the saturation level of this particular black and it's a nice heavyweight 80 pound cover stock. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, maybe near the bottom of your stack, you might find a sheet of cut aparts that have long, narrow strips of artwork. Putting that face down, and then another sheet of uh, miscellaneous artwork cut aparts. Then we're working from uh, the base for layout eight. Right now, we're going to find the other map print. That'll go next. Then a single black plane, the luggage print, craft plane. It's getting easier and easier as you get to very little paper left. Two green planes and two blue planes. Let's flip that entire stack over and we're ready to start the trimming process. This is going to go quickly. I'm not a very complicated set of instructions, so if you're new to Club Scrap, this is a wonderful place to begin. Now, when I first trimmed this, I decided to take the leave the road, take the trails. We're going to split it right down uh, the center here, almost center anyway, and use this as a backdrop for our, one of our first pages. So we're going to trim this, place it into the trimmer right side up so that you know, this reads correctly, and cut it six and a half, so just off center. And these are going to be used in layouts one and two, but since the paper is so big, I'm just going to set it aside. All right, then next, a really easy cut for you. We're going to take this craft plane, put it in the trimmer at six inches, and then stack the two pieces we created and cut them at the same time horizontally at eight and four. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of papers the same size. They're all four by six. Take three of them and put them in pocket one and two, and then one of them for three and four, one goes in five and six, and the last one, seven and eight. The luggage print is next. We're going to place this again right side up into the trimmer. And uh, let's see, we're going to cut it seven and a half. That's going to take the luggage right off the end there. Seven and a half. And leave that paper there. We're going to slide down to five and three quarters. Let's rotate. We'll cut horizontally at eleven and a quarter. Seven and a half, three and three quarters. I gather these three rectangles that are all the same size. They'll go in three and four. There is a scrap that remains. Then we have this strip here. That's pocket five and six. And the luggage will go in three and four. All right, now the black plane um, becomes a lot of different strips. You know, if you look at the instructions and you feel overwhelmed, just ignore them and follow me, okay? I'll take you on the journey. 
uh, first cut is going to create a really narrow piece. So cut at 11 and 3 quarters and 11 and a half. Just let those pieces pile up. Then 10 and a half. 9 and a half. 8 and a quarter. So 8 and a quarter. 7. And 4 and a quarter. Phew, that was a lot of numbers. So if you need that, you know, just rewind and try again if you didn't get all those in the first round. The piece that remains in your trimmer here that's four and a quarter by twelve, rotate it so it's horizontal. And we you will cut at ten and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Take this six and a quarter inch piece, file it in pockets seven and eight, and you have a nearly square piece five and six. I have fun plans for that one. Now you have this little rectangle. We are going to trim this horizontally at four and two. I'm just going to cut that little scrap off the end so we don't have to deal with a one eighth of an inch measurement. So these two little guys are used in pocket three and four and there is, sorry to say, very tiny little scrap involved there. Now the next strip is two and three quarter inches wide. We'll trim it horizontally at 11 and a quarter, seven and a half, three and three quarters. It gives you three pieces that are the same size. One of them goes in five and six and the other two, put them in seven and eight. And we have created yet another tiny little, very tolerable scrap. Okay, so the pieces that have all landed here, hopefully you haven't moved them. So the piece at the top of the stack is a one and a quarter by 12. That goes in seven and eight. We have another one of that same size going in one and two. Then we have a one inch piece that's going in three and four. We have another one inch piece for pocket five and six. And then sometimes they like to sneak way under the trimmer base, but we have two narrow little strips left. Those go in one and two, one and two. All right, phew, that was all the trimming for the regular paper. Now we have to trim the cut aparts. And I like to mention for my first timers that there are tiny little hash marks here at the top and bottom edges. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera there. Top and bottom edges here. And um, you'll wanna cut along those hash marks. So the, for the first one, I want the narrowest piece on the right. And that puts me at about 11 inches for my first cut. Leave the paper stack. We'll go down to 10 and a quarter. And nine and a half. Now the pieces get wider. We're gonna go to seven, eh, it's looking like seven and three eighths on my trimmer. It might be a little slightly different for you. Just make sure you line the hash mark with the um, outer edge of your blade and the last cut's at four and a half. Let's see, where do all these pieces end up? This, I love this piece, it's just beautiful. It's gonna go in seven and eight. And then we have the you are here, make the most of it, one and two. And then this next strip, uh, traveling, goes in three and four. We have two strips that are nearly the same, put one in pocket three and four, and the other in five and six. Lastly, we have this little globe piece that goes in one and two. And we'll pick up our next sheet of cut aparts. This has a narrow strip here on the right side, so that should be placed in the trimmer on your right. So life is short, should be up on the left, okay? And our first cut is once again gonna be at 11. Give us that one inch border strip. And then our next slide is gonna be at around eight and a half. And finally, five. Do a rotation. We get two large pieces here, so this gets cut at eight. All right, this large piece, five and six. Travel, explore, live, five and six also. I'm gonna place this one in the trimmer with the suitcase on the left, since that's the largest piece. And we'll cut horizontally at nine and a half ish. <laughs> I would say ish because you know you have to default to the mark. Here I'm right on the mark at seven, and finally. Uh, four and a half. Suitcase piece, three and four. You're the pilot, seven and eight. You have just like a map square, five and six. 
Here we have a uh, globe, seven and eight. All right, the next strip, we'll place it horizontally in the trimmer so the word earth is on the right. First cuts at nine and a half. And seven. And four and a quarter. Wherever you go, let's pop that in pocket three and four. Here we go, seven and eight. Adventure, three and four. And earth, I love this. I'll love you to the ends of the earth. Seven and eight. That's even perfect for, I don't know, newborn baby. Um, we will be known forever by the tracks we leave. Seven and eight, in some cases, unfortunately. Um, all right. I think that's all the trimming, believe it or not. So I've got my instructions handy. I'll get rid of my trimmer and we'll proceed with uh, assembling layouts seven and eight. So we're going to dry fit. Uh, from the back to the front, essentially. Start with layout eight, end with layout one, then everything's going to be ready to adhere and assemble, and then add your pictures. Before we get started with layout eight, I just want to remind you that from all of those pages that we just made, these are the scraps. That's it. Just three little tiny little pieces. I'm going to throw those in the garbage. Okay, so we have the base. This was the next sheet in our pile was the map print, and that's the base for layout number eight. And again, I'm at page four, layout seven and eight. The page on the right. We'll do it one page at a time. And normally, when I'm working and you know, not on a camera, I'm going to put these layouts side by side and do both pages at the same time. So when you empty your pocket of the accordion pocket file, make sure you don't go to the first pocket. Go to pocket labeled seven and eight to find all the things that are on those two pages because we're working our way from bottom to top. So to start, it looks like we're going to need one of those. Uh, envelopes and it's on the page open so I'll open an envelope and go with that then um, because I had one other layout where this title leave the road take the trails was already used I actually covered it and if that makes you uncomfortable I apologize you can um, perhaps rearrange it a little differently if you want to save the, the text there <laughs> I, I know how that can be sometimes how about a vertical green mat here and then we have a journaling prompt and I was able to cut the black so it nests perfectly and allows it to pop real nicely on the page. Same for this other cut apart at the top. Uh, the bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. And then this fits really nicely right in there. And you'll find a four and a quarter by six and a quarter uh, mat and a four by six craft. So if these don't nest, you need to swap it out so you find the smallest craft piece. And that's what fits you know, for a really nesting, makes that pop as well in that area. And I think I had this kind of at an angle. Now, what you're going to want to do, I've got these Traveler's Notebook stickers. Basically, they're they're neat for embellishing or decorating an actual Traveler's Notebook. And you'll have a few of them left over. Um, so what I did when I planned my pages is I just took scissors and separated each individual sticker for my planning purposes. That way... I could, you know, kind of place mark them, especially since they have a clear background. It was just really easy to sort of see what I wanted to do, where I wanted to place the sticker before I actually peeled it off the backing and put it on the page. So on this page, I used these two stickers as well as just the badge portion of this cut apart. And you'll notice that we have it set up for you so you don't have to cut it. But if you have a nice little detail scissors, it's an easy job cutting this out. And it looks so nice on the finished page. And then as a final touch, I wrapped this houndstooth ribbon completely around the envelope and just tied it in a bow uh, to create the, kind of the finishing touch on this page. I love how it turned out. Let's take a look at the finished layout. Here it is with the trimmed piece, the ribbon running all the way around the two stickers, and then everything else matted and in its place. Don't forget the ruler trick. When you are attaching a border strip running across a page, it's helpful if you use a ruler to make sure that you start out nice and level rather than running up or downhill with one of these border strips. I'm going to slide this on out of here and bring in my black base for layout seven. I don't have a whole lot of things left in my items from the uh, folders because this is just a nice large piece and I took just a length of this houndstooth because I like to balance out the appearance of this ribbon on the right side of the layout by adding some to the left side. So this kind of runs along the border. I just taped the ends around to the back and then just simply added two 
uh, mats. And then I have a larger Traveler's Notebook sticker and then added the airplane to that. And that's placed kind of down here in the lower left. Finally, I once again detail cut or fussy cut the here we go from this. You don't have to do it, but I think it, it just looks so nice um, on that finishing touch. So let me grab my Adhere to Layout 8. I used Club Scraps book binding glue in a needle tip applicator. I have that ready to go at all times, and I store it with the nozzle facing down so the glue keeps that uh, the moisture in the tip, and it's easy to just use it whenever I need to. And then I attached the plane with uh, foam adhesive circles uh, cut into smaller pieces so that it would give it a little pop. And as simple as this page is, it's really one of my favorites from the kit. Now I'll slide the base for number six right on over. That's the luggage print, and I'm going to take everything out of pocket C. And I always make sure you do get everything, or if you're missing something, you can't find it, look in the pocket. Um, happens a lot. All right, for on, the, on this side here, we're going to be using this, this large cut-apart. Um, we have a blue mat in the lower right, and then a green. Make sure it's the larger one. And then we have a smaller one nesting on the blue. And then we have a, should be a smaller piece of black paper that nests with the map. Okay, not a whole lot going on there. Let me show you a fun trick. I've got my crocodile here and there are two holes. One's large and one's smaller. So the way I used this was punched right into that pre-planned hole on the badge. Then from the back, enter with that beautiful green satin ribbon. Okay, and then tie, just tie a little knot with the ribbon, making sure you leave enough of an end so you can cut any fray. And then, I mean, I don't know if you wanna, <laughs> there's a, I didn't have as much ribbon when I did it, still attached because I was working my way to the end. Now I'm working my way back. So thread this on through until you get, make sure it's kind of not twisted, a nice little length, just, just enough kind of peeking out so that it doesn't go too far off the edge of the layout. You can trim it first and then tie th this end into a little knot. sure you know where your knot is going to land. You trim this end. And I have a really cute little, I don't know, it just looks like it's a door hanger or something. It's really sweet. Nice way to round out this layout. Very, very simple, easy to put together. It's going to look fantastic with photos added. My next sheet in my pile of pre-ordered page bases is this craft. I guess before I bring this in, I'll give you a peek at the finished pretty much as you just saw with this everything glued down. Looks great. All right, so layout five. We'll take everything left from the pocket. Across the bottom, we'll anchor that with this map print and you can orient that however you want. The map technically is running up and down, but no one's gonna really notice. Then right above that, this is to bring some green in from the other page for balance. I'm adding just a swatch running across. Parallel with this, use your ruler to keep everything nice and straight. Then we have a nested border strip, again, creating a nice anchor. Up here on the left, we'll place this large cut apart, and that's why I trimmed this the way I did, to the size that I did. That black piece will fit perfectly in there. I'm grabbing my cutting mat. If you don't already have one of these beautiful blue mats, you might want to pick one of those up just to show you how I handled uh, this particular embellishment. So with the cut apart, I'll take my craft knife and just run along this curved boulder area, with the stars in it, which is so sweet. All right, now I have a little pocket in which I can slide this black photo mat. Perfect. And then we'll finish this off very simply with two blue mats. One rests over all this border strip stuff and then one above it. Everything should be kind of equally spaced through here on my finished layout. Oh, I have one other thing that I really like. Um, there's a round sticker in your pack. 
So just kind of attach that angling right here. Be careful uh, that you keep the black portion of the mat free of the sticker so that you can put a photo there and then add the passport. I like how the stickers kind of allow the, the smaller charm to, to pop a little bit on the page. And that concludes layout number five. Here's the finished one. I am reminded that I added one additional uh, sticker and I kind of just tucked it right underneath this photo mat on the lower right corner. We're moving on to page four, uh, the layout number four, which is the right side on instruction page three. Sorry if that's confusing, but once you do this a few times, it'll all make perfect sense to you. And I'm grabbing everything out of pocket number three and four. So across the right, we're gonna start out with these three rectangles in a row. And because I trimmed them at, to a height of three and three quarters of an inch, they fit beautifully within that space. And then I'm adding an opened envelope and I kind of tucked it behind these layers here and insert a black photo mat into the envelope. I did some fun things with the, the embellishment here in the lower right corner. I took my fabric scissors and cut a nice little V into the blue grow grain ribbon. and then lowered that right here, or placed it in that spot. Then I fussy cut this badge from the cut apart and placed it on top. Now you can see, you don't have to do that. You don't have to fussy cut it. They're simple cuts and look fantastic. So, I mean, yay, but not required. In the upper right corner, I used the green traveler's sticker as well as the fussy cut suitcase. Now I, I'm gonna show you what I did to finish things out. I went to the trouble of taking a craft knife since I had it out anyway from earlier and I cut out the opening for the handle. Now in the handle, I just tied on a small piece of that um, satin ribbon and just tied a knot, you know, just kind of like a little luggage tag. It's so cute. I just think it draws some nice attention to it. If you want to ink the edges with some earth ink to add a little distress, you can do that as well, of course. And then here's my finished badge down in the lower right corner. So that's layout number four. To get things started with layout three, I will add the suitcase to the left edge, which is kind of nice. It varies it from the, the use of the other suitcase or luggage print whatever you want to call it. Um, I have a nested mat with some black and craft colored paper here. Across the top, we're going to have a nice page title. I love how those cut aparts take care of the page titling for us. And then just tuck this right in there, wherever you go, beca becomes a part of you somehow. And then one of these um, traveler stickers will fit a nice three-part puzzle right here. And on the left, we've got two of these small uh, photo mats here. Oh, my apologies. This is why we do the dry fit. There was a nested border strip on uh, right behind the envelope on the previous page. Then below this, I have an oval shaped sticker that's going to fit right here. And within that space is another uh, silver charm luggage. It's just the cutest thing ever. With the blue ribbon, what you can do here to accent the, the small black pieces is cut to using the wrong scissors and I can tell. <laughs> Just tape a little ribbon flag behind each of these black mats and it just brings the eye there the smaller things and maybe you have a little sunset picture or some clouds from your flight or something to go into that space just a nice place to accent if you have more pictures by all means add them to the layout put your favorites on the mats all right moving on to layout two I forgot to show you one other thing now that I have my finished layout here is that it's we, we just have a plentiful portion of this beautiful green satin so I trimmed a 14 inch length and taped the ends around the back, just one single piece, and then I tied a bow onto the ribbon that was stretched across the page for a nice little accent. I've slid over my second to last sheet. This is layout two. It's the blue plane to get things started. And way back earlier at the beginning, the very first cut we made, we separated the map print into two unequal halves. <laughs> so the take the trails portion will be on the left gutter of this base. And then I'm going to take two of these craft four by sixes and place them here. 
Then we have a nested strip anchoring at the bottom. Make sure you don't cover up the take the trails in this case. We'll nest that globe right there. And if you'd like, you can take one of these little stickers and spot it there. It's just a good, good place to write maybe a date or a location where the picture was taken. A vertical, I know you won't want to cover up the mat, but you got to put some photos on your page. How about another sticker right, right around Russia? <laughs> okay, so this is, is so simple. I'll bring in my finished layout. Really not much different than the one we're looking at right now. The remainder of my pieces will complete layout one. So we'll start out with the other portion of that map print. Leave the road. Okay, that goes on the right gutter. So the when the layout is side by side, it completes this image. And then along the left, we have this larger cut apart, two vertical mats. Now to differentiate the cut apart space between the blue base, I did add um, two quarter inch strips of black. The best way to add or adhere those, because most glue that you use is wider than a quarter of an inch, I usually, um, you can apply either the glue to the paper or to the strip itself from a needle tip applicator, and then use your grid ruler to help you keep that line nice and straight. Typically what I would do is add this wide border strip first, and with the help of the ruler, and then squiggle the glue right next to the strip on the page, and then drop the quarter inch strip into place onto the glue. The wet glue allows you some adjustment time so that you can make sure that strip is right where you want it to be before it cures. You can add a sticker to this. You can add some ribbon. I made a bow from the plentiful allotment of um, the blue grow grain ribbon. So you just take a generous amount and you make two loops that look like this. Cross them over and bring one of the loops through the hole and pull. Then you can adjust till your bow looks really nice. I'm getting better at this, folks. I've been working. I've been trying to make nicer bows. I'm in a nice bow campaign. <laughs> I haven't given up. You know, it's been about 20 years I've been crafting. I figure I really need to be better at this. So that's my challenge of 20, 2020. Make it a year of the quality bow. <laughs> and I'll trim some nice little dovetails here with my fabric scissors and that's a nice spot to place that in it okay that is layout one my finished product here you'll notice that I did not put any adhesive on this edge of the block of the green mat and that's so that I can still get a photo underneath here I can always go back and add more adhesive later but I generally don't have a problem I'm using a nice quality ATG adhesive with my uh, applicator glue applicator here so um, everything stays in place just fine once it's in a page protector that is your October Expeditions collection. I hope you loved it. And if you're a card maker, I want to invite you to join me for our new fun Expeditions uh, card kit. I have a wonderful tutorial that will teach you a whole lot. So I hope to see you there. And I'll see you next month. Thank you.